Yeah. So you guys had a um, a stint in law enforcement. Uh, no, I said law enforcement. Loss prevention, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I was in loss prevention myself. I did Macy's. You guys, can you take yeah, us through? Everybody wanted the Macy's job. Yeah. <laughs> take, take me through uh, how you guys got into that and like what loss prevention is. Because a lot of people are like, what the fuck are these dudes talking about? Well, well we got the ring for it. We was doing our security work. And I was like, man, then I found out about loss prevention. That that's, sounds cool and exciting. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. all that. Can't be an MP, is. so. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I always, always like law enforcement type work. So yeah. yeah. That's where you uh, dress like a regular customer and you just walk around and pretend to shop. Okay. Yep. So we got hired at Ross Dress for Less. That's how that was we our started. First job. Our first job. Where was this located? This was in Santa Ana, California. Okay. Yeah. What's the population like distribution? Yeah. 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 Uh, it's, a, it's actually a red area, but it's, it's a majority uh, Latino. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I don't know if it's red. What now. year is this now? Are we Spanish talking like 95, 96 now? Mm -hmm. We're 95, 96? Uh, this is yeah. like. Um, I want to say well, it's ninety four, ninety eight Marine Corps, and then we got out after that. So I would say that's around what, early two thousands. Yeah. Okay, early okay. Yeah, I would say. All right, yeah. I'm old man. Damn, that's been a long the time. years just blend together, right? I early two thousands. I can only keep track by looking at oh, the, right. that bite was that year. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe we've been TRL on and TV it's type shit. Yeah, yeah, around yeah. Early two thousands. Early two thousands. Okay, so y'all are there, and then what? Did such a great job, got promoted to uh, investigator. Okay, that's when you investigate internal theft. Right. Okay. From, and then from there, we actually went. We did. Oh, so were you guys like on the floor the whole time? Like y'all yeah. weren't in Check the back watching lips. cameras? Yeah, they didn't have cameras. There. Yeah, it was all Gross. floor work. Okay. Now, when we became internal investigators, you was uh, watching employees at that point. We installed cameras. Mm -hmm. Then after you you suspect somebody or you have enough evidence, you sit down and interview them. They say something like 80% of uh, th theft is internal. Yeah, like yeah. most of the shortages is like actually mm -hmm. internal. Yeah. So I remember I had one case. Is, this lady did like a hundred thousand dollars in refund fraud. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and so and you bring him in and you interview him and then like what you just get him to confess or yeah. Yeah. And then and then what do y'all do? Call the cops yeah. on them, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> People usually confess, but they'd be like, no. Yeah, sometimes you more often you not, like, you show them the evidence, they just they just yeah, you know, you're right there on video doing it. Yeah, so, yeah. so that's like yeah. caught red handed. But you would always try to see how good of an interview you wouldn't show them all the evidence. You just give them bits and yeah, of course. Yeah. And then like uh, did you guys like when I worked at Macy's? We had 100% prosecution rate. They took it for everything. I remember we sent a dude to Joe one time for taking a chocolate bar. Did Ross take everything? Nah, not everything. What was their limit? Um, it had to be how much was the I limit? think it was over 65 bucks for for yeah, I think so. Something this like is that. the early 2000s if they for, had it, for out for somebody shoplifting for an employee. I think it was uh, I think it was over a grand or something like that. Yeah, oh, so they needed more if they were an employee. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. you would think you'd have even less. Of course, we knew who the people were. We would just sue them and get civilly. it really, civilly. Oh, yeah. okay, that's what, that makes that's, sense. That's how they handled it, Ross. Yeah. So, you, so y'all did that for how long? Man, man, I was there for about six years, I think. Six years. All right, tell me how and y'all worked together. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll sometimes we was together, but how it was set up in Ross is you travel from store to store. You was never in the same store. So you, okay. sometimes we would bar. be working the same store together. Okay. Yeah. So tell me the confused. craziest story. Cause I could think of a bunch of like, you always get in a fight with these people, all this other shit. Like tell me the craziest story y'all had when y'all were there. I remember we caught just one Mexican dude, <laughs> little fat Pablo looking dude. Right? <laughs> that dude still, he came in with a trash bag. This dude oh, walked yeah. out with like, like well, three thousand before he of... before he walked out, he's got the bag, man. He's going back and forth. I'm like, when they come in with a bag, it's it's go time. Yeah, this is the norm now. Yeah, in but, but, the, but back then it wasn't. Yeah, but the crazy thing, he kept going to the front when leave. Kept going to the front. He went to see if somebody was following him. And I was about to have a heart attack waiting for this dude to leave, and he wouldn't leave. <laughs> Finally, the dude left. We get him outside, handcuff him, bring him inside. So y'all yeah. tackled him then at that point, probably. He didn't even fight. Oh, yeah, shit. right. But point of park, right? He was too fat to park, run. So we take him back to the back, right? As yeah. a chief. I'm gonna go get the, all the um, tags he ripped off and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. evidence, evidence, right? I'm going to gather evidence. Right? <laughs> so I'm gathering evidence, the tags and all that. I get back. There's uh, the let, me let me take it from here. So Kevin's gathering <sighs> evidence, right? And I'm out here getting the port going, calling the cops, getting the port going. <laughs> and then I'm asking the guy for like his name and his information. And then I look back and I was talking to him. I look back like. Man, this dude took off running. <laughs> right? He's already handcuffed, right? I'm like, so I'm up there. I run out the store. I'm like, what is this supposed to You handcuff him in the front or in the back? I think it was in the front. <laughs> no, that's the guy that was double jointed. He slipped out of his hand. Oh, yeah, he's uh, yeah, let me get to that. Yeah. So I'm looking, then I can see him running, right? So I'm booking out, right? Yeah. I finally catch him. Yeah. And uh, I catch him, I put him on the ground, and I was pissed because this is a big stat. 
Boss gonna kiss my ass and everything. With yeah. So I was pissed. He making he making me run, right? right? So I get the cuffs back on him and I say, You wanna run? Let's run back to the store. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm dragging this dude all the way back to the store. We get back to the store. Uh, right when we get everyone's store, looking at y'all and yeah, shit. Everybody's yeah. looking crazy. Yeah, Kevin like, comes out to the store, man. What happened? What happened? Oh, just... this motherfucker running. <laughs> Get your ass back in the store. <laughs> so Kevin take him to the store. I ain't gonna tell him the other stuff. Kevin. Hey, y'all can say this is twenty years ago, bro. Kevin thought he was a police officer. <laughs> Kevin thought he was neck. a white supremacist <laughs> police officer. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, there were some jokes made. I see. Right. Yeah, it's that, you, we say. Hey, man. you know what? We we can switch the rumble real quick if you want to say what you said. Well, it's statute limitations. We good. Man, all I, right. I ain't taking no chances. Nah. Okay. All right. All right. We all. We all I guess. Well, we well, that was funny because it didn't really happen. Though. I yeah. remember Keith it saying that. It. Oh, you want to run, motherfucker? Yeah. Let's run back to the <laughs> store. <laughs> and it's just for the audience to know, like most of the yeah. time when you do loss prevention, like the security office is almost always in the back. So you got to yeah. drag them through the store mm -hmm. to bring them back there and process them. So mm -hmm. in my head, I'm envisioning this is like mm -hmm. funny ass shit. Well, yeah. If you guys seen like San Francisco and stuff now, they can't even stop the guys. They're loading in bags. Right. Like 950, right I think, right. is like the limit. So they're just like they right there stealing you, almost a thousand. Even if they go above that, they don't really prosecute you. So this yeah. like San Francisco. Hey, you know what's crazy? When we will arrest them, the mm -hmm. cops, they would leave with them in the back of the car, but they would just pull around the corner and write them a ticket and let, and them, let them out. Yeah, because they would come right back in the store, like Jesus. maybe a month later, doing the same yeah. thing. Wow, you know what's crazy back in the day? I remember we were at that same store, I ain't gonna t tell them the city, it was in that vicinity. I remember we was chasing a guy, shoplifting this white dude with a mullet in his pickup truck. <laughs> <laughs> he's running out <laughs> oh, it's shit. always the white guy. Yeah. Right? That guy chasing the white guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's got so a so He, he looked at us, he was like, what did he do? I said, he stole something. Yeah. He said, I'm a get him. <laughs> he, he took off, hit the dude with his truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we're running with these, uh, we had like a necklace and a badge yeah. on it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He cops yeah. Over hit the dude with his truck. Yeah. That's hilarious. So a, a dude hit the mullet guy with a truck. No, he hit oh, the, the shoplifter. Oh, the guy with the mullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he saw the shoplifter and he just hit him. He just hit him. He knew. He, well, he, he didn't hit him. He pulled out in front of him and he ran into yeah. the truck. <laughs> it, it's close. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. That's, That's funny. He ran into the truck. When you told yeah. him, hey, you stole, what was his response? I got him. Yeah. <laughs> you have a Southern accent too? I got him. <laughs> yeah, he looked like he was from the South. <laughs> yeah. Was Now, the, the best part, was the guy you were chasing, was he white or black? He was white? Most of the people who were arrested was Latinos. Yeah. Okay. Because it's that's eighty percent of the population now. You know what's crazy? Yeah. We live in a uh, majority. It was Latino, but it was white, real yeah. white, red area. But as soon as you seen a person walk in the store, I would say ninety nine percent of the time they stole something. <laughs> yeah. As soon as they walk in the store, they're like, "Yes." <laughs> yeah. 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 Just telling everybody yeah. what they about to do. Yeah. Yeah. And in that area, there was no black people. Yeah. You could totally tell they was from L.A. Yeah.